to the latest developments in the capture of a fugitive from Oklahoma. After several days on the run, Charles Dyer was finally found this morning near Waterside Estates in Fort Bend County. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Quinn is live at the sheriff's office with more on what led to his arrest today. Kevin? Now, a lot of Charles Dyer is here now in custody at the Fort Bend County Jail. After his arrest, one deputy told me he talked to Dyer and told Dyer that he really gave them a run for their money, to which Dyer responded, quote, Sorry for the inconvenience. Looking worse for wear by all accounts, Charles Dyer was arrested today in Fort Bend County after evading authorities for more than a week. He was just tired. He was wore out. That's Deputy Jeremy Goodrich. He's wet and muddy. He's been in the water and out of the water. Goodrich responded to a 911 tip call from an alert woman who saw Dyer walking on Farmer's Road near Highway 99 not far from a daycare and Oakland Elementary School. She told dispatchers the man had a beard and longer hair than seen in the photo the FBI had just circulated of Dyer in the neighborhood yesterday, but she felt it might be him. It's our understanding that he was living uh, along the river at night or during the daytime and coming out at night. Dyer was wanted by the FBI for unlawful flight after allegedly vanishing prior to a court appearance in Oklahoma. He's a former Marine accused of raping a seven-year-old girl there. Investigators say Dyer initially gave a fake name to Deputy Goodrich, but then admitted his true identity when pressed for his birth date. He was unarmed, but was carrying $1,500 in cash and a GPS. Deputy Goodrich says after the arrest, Dyer confided that search teams had almost arrested him near the Brazos River at least once previously. He made some statements when he was in the back of the car that they had been really close. He was hiding. Goodrich says Dyer told him he came out of hiding today because he was hot and hungry. He apparently hadn't eaten in four days. Yeah, investigators tell us he actually went to a Sonic nearby to get a cherry limeade, and that's while he was walking back while he was arrested. Authorities say he next will attend a hearing at which he will tell a judge whether or not he will waive extradition back to Oklahoma. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, the 911 call that led to Dyer's arrest. We're live in Fort Bend County. Kevin Quinn, 13 Eyewitness News.